Hello everyone and welcome back to our universe. Today we'll be answering the question, why do we have one moon? So you might be thinking to yourself, this is quite a simple question. The reason why we have one moon is because we just have. But there's a bit of understanding of essentially how many moons a planet can have. So let's try to explain this weird question. So there are two kinds of planets in our solar system. There are the terrestrial planets, which are the inner planets, like Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. And then there's the Jovian planets, or the outer planets, which are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Whilst the Jovian planets have a total observed number of moons close to 90, the terrestrial planets have only three. They are of course the Earth's moon and the two small moons of Mars, Phobos and Deimos. The huge difference in the amount of moons is always linked to the formation of the solar system. The solar system was formed out of a giant swirling cloud of gas and dust, which collapsed under its own gravity. During this collapse, the gas actually heated up and started to rotate faster. This led to the formation of what is called a protoplanetary disk. This is a disk of hot rotating gas with the mass concentrated at the center. The central concentration of this disk became of course the sun and the planets formed from the remaining disk. The gas in the protoplanetary disk could not collapse by itself to form the planets. It needed some kind of seed which gravity could pull together. The variety in the planets is linked to the kind of seeds that were available in the different parts of the protoplanetary disk. So essentially, near the sun, the temperature was so high that all the material was gas and could not form planets. A little further out from the sun, there was metal flakes and fragments and small pieces of rock. These flakes stuck together when they collided and these formed planetesimals. These planetesimals grew very quickly in size until they became so big that collisions started to break them apart. Only the largest objects survived, and these became the terrestrial planets. Outside of the orbit of Mars, the temperature was low enough that there was not only flakes of metal and chunks of rock, but there was many small pieces of ice, so therefore there was more stuff or seeds to form the planets. This caused the planetesimals of the outer solar system to grow even faster, and they became large enough that their gravity captured enough hydrogen and helium, which was very abundant in the protoplanetary disk. The protoplanets captured so much gas that they actually became tiny solar systems. And this resulted in the formation of many icy satellites that became moons of the Jovian planets. This basically accounts for the majority of the moons around the outer solar system. They have, however, had some other moons that are left over from planetesimals. In fact, this is probably the origin for the two small moons of Mars. They were two very small protoplanets that the gravity of Mars pulled them into its orbit. And as for the moon, the story is believed to be different. It is theorized that the moon was formed by a collision of a large planetesimal about the size of Mars that collided with the Earth. This collision must have happened in the early solar system when there were probably hundreds of planetesimals and this collision would have ejected so much material into Earth's orbit that eventually coalesced into a ring and then eventually into the moon. Basically, we have one moon because there probably wasn't enough material in the inner solar system to create any more than just one. Also, another reason to why we only have one moon is probably the gravitational influence of the Sun and Jupiter. The Sun and Jupiter have a massive gravitational influence on the asteroid belt the asteroid belt could be a great candidate for new moons to the inner solar system. And by having Jupiter there, it kind of stops those candidate moons from migrating inwards into the inner solar system. So, I hope that's given you a great insight into why we have one moon, and also into the inner workings of the formation of the solar system. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.